This is Jeremy with Bob's Exotic Reptiles, and you are watching R&B Reptiles. <laughs> All right, so we're with Jeremy Bald over at Bald's Exotic Reptiles, and you guys are in for a treat. Make sure you go to his page and like this video, subscribe to him. Obviously, you're subscribed to us, so uh, check him out. I'll put his link in the description below. So, Jeremy, what do you got going on over there? Show us maybe uh, three projects that you're really working on that you really enjoy. Three projects, three projects, three projects. How about that? Um, well, one one that I was I was actually thinking about it earlier today, and you know, let's see if this girl has finally shed or not. Um, is that a monarch? No, it's a it's a bongo ultra male. Oh, female okay. bongo ultra male. Man, this is kind of tricky. I mean, it's like everything's opposite. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So this is a bongo ultra male here. It's a female. She's probably around eight. Eight or nine hundred grams or something like that. I'm growing her up still. <laughs> All right, so I picked this guy up from um, from Justin, and this is a yellow belly confusion, sixty six percent het lavender. So this is a male, this is female, and I plan on putting these two together because you know um, I think a confusion bongo yellow belly ultra male would be uh, pretty awesome looking. So that's one of the projects I'm kind of working on. That's awesome. So, uh, yeah, but look at the belly on this thing. This oh, yeah. That's belly, ridiculous. Man. Yeah. This, these are some of the, the uh, some of the siblings that I held back, you know, all my double head genetic strike puzzle stuff. So I'm growing these guys up. And that's one of, one of my, uh, my most anticipated projects that I'm, that I'm working on is, uh, Getting because nobody's ever done the Gen X Stripe puzzle yet, so I'm kind of curious of how that's going to look. All right, so of course, this guy is in shed. Now, this is a pastel um, desert ghost that I picked up from Steve's Morphs. Um, which a lot of you guys, I'm sure, know who he is. If not, check him out, Steve's Morphs. Cousin and Steve. Steve. What's that? Cousin Steve, yeah. Yeah, Cousin Steve, yeah. And yeah, he looks a lot better when he shed up, but you can see his pink belly and everything. So I picked this guy up, and um, I, I wanted to make some double head clowns. So I ended up dropping him, or not dropping him, but I ended up uh, putting him with this girl here, which when I got her, she was supposed to be a Mojave clown. I got her as an adult, so it was kind of hard for me to tell, but she ended up just being a regular clown. So yeah, I put these two together, and I think we had seven seven babies out of there, and six of them ended up being females, and three of the three of the females ended up being some Krypton's. So how how uh, how that works? Uh, you can watch Billy Mutation Creation. He does a really, really good video explaining the, you know, the Krypton and the Het Clown, and you know how they share the same allele and everything. Um, but it kind of, it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like a uh, Candino, you know, like a, a candy and an albino will will share the same allele and and be a Candino. It's the same thing with cryptic and clown so and i'll show you some of those in a second all right so yeah these are all the babies that i kept back these are all girls um unfortunately some of them are in shed now this is a double head clown desert ghost female doesn't have the pastel and i know there's no cryptic in there because it would be a krypton but it is a double head and then um same with this one here and then we, we get the, this one here is a pastel double head. And then these are the three cryptics or cryptons that we ended up getting. Now you can see the difference. You can see the difference in, because these are all three of these, as far as I know, pastels, this would need shed. Paisley. But you can definitely see the difference in just the, the regular pastel double head versus the, the krypton just in the colors and the patterns and everything see how it kind of pinches the alien heads and kind of bands it out a little more and then of course you got the, the head see how the head looks on them you're gonna have to bring them closer you 
turn in. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I want to say the eyes are kind of like a bluish color, too. Mm. And they look kind of dark right now, though, because it be, could be the lighting. Yeah, it's pretty interesting that the head on Krypton's is, seems to be like a dead giveaway. So um, it's yeah, pretty it, impressive. It's pretty cool. That's that's the reason why we we think we have a Krypton. If you look at a couple the front, of in our collection, see the, can you see the eye stripe? How it kind of looks like a puzzle. Yeah, a bit. Yeah, it's kind of broken up there. That's that's one of the giveaways. Um, also, it looks like it has, you know, how it's really wide at the top there. They're pretty, man. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately, half of them are in shed. Now, did you know that they that there's cryptic in? No, I didn't. The no. bearing. Actually, when I was cutting the egg, the uh, the clutch, I had a YouTube video, and when I when I when I cut the eggs, you couldn't really see any of the heads yet, you know. But I did see the pattern on one of these and how it was really funky, and I and I was at this point, I'm still trying to. Hang on, let me uh, put these guys away. Yeah, no, I, I, I just happened to be at a at a show visiting, and I, I seen Steve's morphs. I was checking everything out. It was a really small kind of a, a Pasco County, I believe, is, is the show, and it's kind of a, like a small one in a really small like ro roller skating ring, and not one of the greatest shows, you know. And just happened to be walk, walking around there and checking everybody's stuff out, and then I seen that and picked it up. And had no idea, and you know, kind of worked out great for me. So, all these animals I'm showing are females. Now, this is just a pastel, but it's double head desert ghost pied. Now, to me, it looks like the the. Uh, I don't know if you can see it very well on there, but it looks like these are like more like a burnt orange almost. And I don't know if that's something that the pet desert ghost is doing, or if it's uh some kind of an influence in the cryptic. A lot of people are trying to still figure out if there's any markers for cryptic or heck cryptic. Now, if you look at the, this, these two guys here are identical. One's a male, one's a female. And they're pastel jigsaws. Now, if you look at the neck, see how it has kind of like a stripe behind the neck there? Kind of yeah, think. and then this one doesn't, oh, and it's hissing at me. Hang on, these guys are. See how, it, what? how that doesn't have the striping on that one, and this one does. And both <laughs> of these are are het desert ghost possible het cryptic. So I'm wondering if that striping behind the neck there has something to do with a marker. I don't know. We're all trying to yeah, figure that out still. So. Interesting, man. It's pretty cool. All right. Well, I'll show you a couple more things. Um, all right. One of the things that I like, and it's just a simple combo. It's a, you know what a mystic is. And yep. I, I, I've always liked the super mystics. All right. So just a simple combo, just the super mystic. I just like the way they look, even though it's nothing crazy. It's not, you know, recessive or anything like that. But I just like the way they look. Uh, this is actually the second snake that i bought when i decided to start breeding you know that's a male just a super mystic you know so i wanted to make more of those and keep a couple females back this is that's a super mystic female but i mean look how good they look as an adult you know this is a male breeder he's bred for me twice already yeah just, sometimes just simple things man are still awesome and you know i tell you what if you're doing this and you're you're doing shows and stuff and you're you're wanting to, you know, put some money back into your business. These things sell really fast. You know? Yeah, they're beautiful. <laughs> She's due to drop eggs, and she her pre shed was on the 18th, so 30 days from there, and I should be getting some eggs. This here, I actually got this girl here from the same person I got the crypt, cryptic or the heck cryptic desert ghost. This is a pastel Enchi Desert Ghost female. She's um, a streamer. She's about 1,800 grams, something like that. Wow. So I've been putting my, um, 
I'm just gonna pull them out and throw them on top. I know you guys can see them. I've been putting this puzzle banana with her. Wow. So I'm, hoping, I'm hoping to get some double head. Um, really love, wanting to get some pastel enchi double head puzzle desert ghost stuff. That you know, that's what I'm hoping for. Um, with banana in there. Razor. He's done a lot of work for me already, and this will be her first year. But like I said, she's about 1,800 grams, and they're they're both pounding food. So yeah, it's another another big project. This is one of my probably this pairing here is going to be one of my most anticipated pairings this season. Wow. Yeah. No, that's yeah. awesome. That's a that's a great a great combo there. One more show. How about this? One more. And then here's another one. This one here. <laughs> All right. Here's another one. <laughs> Now here's another one. Remembering as we go here, this is another uh, pro project that I'm kind of working with. One more. Hang on. Let me know when we get to two hours, and we'll stop. Oh no, I'm hungry. I'm one more. <laughs> yeah. No, I got all right, Jeremy, thank you so much for showing us around and showing us all your collection. I'm glad that we can keep it in under 15 minutes. It was really great. <laughs> you really have a, actually a lot of things going on over there, so it's hard to compress everything into a, a short period of time. But thank you so much for coming on and for showing us around. Uh, make sure everybody that's watching, you guys go over to Jeremy's uh, YouTube page and his Instagram and Facebook and give them likes, subscribes and all that. Also, make sure you're liking this video. Comment down below if you have any questions for Jeremy and we'll get it out to him. And thank you guys so much and we'll see you on the next one. All right. Thank you very much, Ben, for having me on. And we did it in what, 17 minutes. So that was great. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs>